Uh, I'm sorry, I can't allow you guys in. Okay. Yeah, so um, today's call is basically just to introduce, introduce you guys to plugins I feel will make your workflow easier. Well, they make my workflow easier anyway. Especially when I'm trying to steal, like, <laughs> how does it like an artist? So um, there are three plugins. All right, so let me just introduce you guys to them. So, yeah, I call, I call them my best friend. I pretty much use them every time. Yeah, I use them every time. Okay, so uh, let me just close everything to the right. Yeah, so the first of them is my favorite CSS Pipa. Okay, this is probably my favorite plugin. Not probably, it's my favorite plugin. Then we have Go Full Page. Go Full Page. Then we have Colorzilla. Yeah, these are my three best friends. So if you're using Chrome, I think if you're also using Brave Browser, even if you're using Firefox or um, Explorer, you can easily import these. This your plugin from Chrome over to those browsers, um, or you can also install. As I said, uh, you can also install Chrome plugins on those browsers. Uh, I, see, I, can't, I can't admit more people. Yeah, so you can also do that on those browsers. So uh, I think I'll I'll go from Colorzilla go full page down to CSS paper, right? Let me just save the best for last. Yeah, so if you're, if you're ever wondering, probably need to know um, what color, right? Um, Stripe is using for this, what color they are using for this, right? I need to get these colors. Yeah, you can just Google Colorzilla, right? It's a Chrome extension, click on it, Colorzilla, then you install the plugin, that's it, right? And when you install, when you install the plugin, you click on the plugin icon here, then you just click on Colorzilla to run Colorzilla, right? So basically a color picking tool, right? So if I need to know what purple, what color this is, right? The hex code, I can just click on Colorzilla, right? The problem with it right now is once you hover on it, right? It, this button switches from the default state to the hover state. Uh, let's see if I can get something that doesn't switch. Switches to, right? So if I need to actually get this, I'll have to zoom in, right? I'm zooming in a lot, I have to zoom in, right? And since these are also interactive, it's also showing the interactive state. So I have to zoom in again. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. And I'll probably just pick this as purple. Right? It's not picking it exactly. Right? That's my problem with this plugin. It's not picking it exactly. Right? It's, it's not working the way I want it to work. But that's colors life if you need to pick a color. Right? So it probably work best if I was trying to get this black color, right? I can just click on it, click on it, that color. No, it's not copying it. <sighs> Breaking my heart. But that's how Colorzilla basically works, right? You go on the website on, on the app, right? Just click on Colorzilla, then pick out the color. Right. But since that is not working, yeah, I'll jump straight to CSS Paper, then go, you can do go for page last. Yes, yeah, so my very best friend, CSS Paper, right? It's basically a Chrome extension. Google CSS Paper, then click on it. Same method, then in store right so what it allow you to do is so the first thing is i can actually get these colors right without going through colorzilla right i can just click on it css paper right or click on this then you launch css paper right but since it's probably my most used plugin i sort of just pinned it right clicking this which is why you have it here instead of me clicking um the extension icon yeah so just click on it to launch okay so you see it's launched here uh let me walk you through the interface first then start using it so yeah you basically see general info for, about the site the fonts they are using right for their header so now it's showing you three fonts <coughs> because it's not very sure which of these fonts they are using right because each of the, these three fonts i think they sort of look similar right but for sites like ah, let's check solana.com sites like solana.com right if i launch css paper here right S same problem i'm having it's not sure what font they are using Right, it's not sure of the font. Okay, so there are times when it's not sure like this, and I just have to start trying out each of them till I get the exact font I'm using. But the beauty of it is when okay, let me jump straight to I need to get a website where they are sure of what font they're using. Welcome. Okay, so let's check out a part of ninja. Let's look for one here. Let's check out marble. Let's see what font is marble using. Okay, let's see, please. Is a good font yes there is in helix i think there is in helix then for body 
here using Nui Haskell text display. Yeah, so it's, it's very confusing, right? It shows you, so by default, if you launch the tool, right, it gives you an overview of the website, um, your name, font setting for header, font setting for body, the CSS information, and the website load time, right? For this is 3.7, for this is 3.5, for this it's Oh, is it that fast? It's, it's in minus. <laughs> okay, yeah. So um, when you click on this, you see the entire color being used on this website. Right? I don't use this much because I'm usually just picking my colors like this. Right, picking my color by just clicking on it. Um, then when you click on this, which is pr probably the sweetest part of it, you can export all the assets on this website, all the illustrations on this website. Right, same for Stripe. So this is basically showing you all the assets on this website and I can choose to export them as SVG. All right, so everything you can see here can be exported as an asset. All right, everything. So um, there are times where I probably just need to export, probably this guy, I just click on export and it's downloaded as an SVG. Or there are times where I just need to export all, right? What it does, it zips the entire asset of this website for me and I can just extract everything instead of um, exporting them individually right that's probably one of the use cases uh, let's see if I click on this shows me all the assets that can be exported right it doesn't export animation mostly SVGs and PNGs right so if I click on marble assets right you can probably export everything I'm mostly using this when probably I need to download this logo right so I need to download this logo for example and I click right click it doesn't show me the save image as option right the attention it doesn't show that right I can just click on CSS people right, let's see marble this is probably it yeah I think this is it this is it and I'll download the logo right at times I need to get brand logos and it's very difficult to get them without coming to the website right I think for sites like Solana you can just right click and download from here right so you can right click here when you right click when you just even click on it in CSS people it shows you the export option or you can just right click save images right or for marble it's not showing here, but you can export it here. Okay, yeah, so that's just an overview of the interface. So when I'm usually using it, right, like I mentioned, when I started designing, I had no idea how type scale work, right? I wasn't very sure what to use for my header one, for my biggest header, or for my H2 or H3, right? I wasn't sure of the scaling. So what I did was, I come with CSS paper, right? I click on it. So this guy, they're using 94 pixel. And they probably didn't have vertica or they are using i don't know how to pronounce this right and the line height is this the uh, letter spacing is this the color is this right so what i start doing is um i can open a notepad and say my h1 will be 94 pixel with 97.76 line height my header color will be this right same thing for this i might say my body text to be 18 pixel line height 28 letter spacing 0.2 body color with this right so most times when i need to steal probably I need to get the exact colors there is in most times i'm usually using this when it comes to stealing fonts right what font are they using here probably die type right let me check out pay stack no flutter wave I like the team of flutter wave the design yeah flutter wave the design yeah so what font are they using CSS people are launch yeah there is in moderate right. i don't know why i changed it all these options but the last time I came here this was showing just as moderate and um, for the header probably also using moderate right so the next thing I'll do after this is go to fontshub.com and I'll search for moderate oh they don't have moderate oh they do oh, surprise <laughs> yeah search for moderate and download the typeface right. just click on at the bottom yeah download moderate okay one way to use it um another way uh colors 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 right yeah let me go to a place where i think that will be helpful oh i think these guys are smart so let's see yeah so most times i use it for colors but colors can be very confusing right so i may be looking at this text and looking at it on this very bright greenish background and <laughs> I'm very conscious of um, accessibility when it comes to contrast checking. Right, so I start thinking, is this is this um, text accessible in this background, right? Obviously, right, I know it is, right? Black one, a very light green. So in case it's not, just in case I want to confirm, 
what I'll do is I'll go to coolers.co 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 um, tools countries checker yeah all right so for the background color right they're already showing that to me for the background color background color is this so I'll copy that right so you can just copy the hex code by clicking on this copy this right I'll paste this in background color right this is dark tradition so it's very good yeah so it's accessible so I'll copy this too paste this in text color yeah and this works 12.43 <laughs> so yeah so there are some websites where you see um, a very light color like white on the background like this so instantly I know it's not accessible but most times I just like testing it right so you can also copy, copy colors this way this this okay yeah let me jump to Ave Ave.com Ave. yeah so say I want to copy this color this color right CSS people are launch body color is this background color is this body color is this background color with this right because this is actually the same color with just um, sort of illustration on top um, body color is this so I'm seeing body color is this which is accessible on this let's see yeah I think this looks good <laughs> okay that looks good yeah so that's how probably use uh, that plugin let's see then another use case for it yeah get in sizing let's see I think this person doesn't know is mute yeah mute. okay yeah let's see uh, I think that's how I get sizing all right get colors mm -hmm. then that thing I'm missing from the inspector nope and I think that's it then yeah I think the last one is Lapa right? this, this used to be very short Lapa the ninja yeah so if you ever if you, if you ever wonder how do they take the entire screenshot of a website like this right how do they do this all right so Lapa the ninja is basically a website we come to when we're trying to get inspiration for landing pages right so they basically just um list some of the landing pages they think are very awesome when it comes to design right good designs so yeah lapad ninja i've always wondered how did they take screenshot of this website like this right how did they take this entire screenshot the, the best i can do is just window and print screen and i'll probably just get um the section in my viewport and there are times where i'm sort of researching inspirations for what, for what i want to do right say i'm probably on awards where they don't take the entire screenshot of the landing page and I need that for my mood board, right? Probably I'm looking at um, Hip Prime, right? And I need this on my mood board, this entire website. Let me look for another good example. Uh, let's see. Ooh, this looks clean. I like the illustration I'm saying. Yeah, I don't want to take it a little, little minute to load. Let's see another. Let's check out the pinch bank. Has this loaded? Okay, yes, it has. Yeah, and this was sick. Still loading pinch prime. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so if you ever wonder how do they take a screenshot of the entire website like this, right? Ideally, if you try taking a screenshot or you try using your snipe tool, you can only snipe whatever is in your viewport, or you can only take a screenshot of whatever is in your viewport. Right, but if I need to take the entire screenshot of this, this entire landing page, all I have to do is Google GoFu page, right? The thing is there are two GoFu pages, so I just have to click on the one to know which is the exact one. Let's see, I have one installed already, no, not this one, this full page screenshot. The name is GoFu page. Yeah, GoFu page, right? Which is probably the second result. Right? This is an ad, so it's probably the first result. Yeah, so when you when you have that plugin installed, all you have to do is just come to come to go full page and click on it. Then give it a minute, take the entire screenshot for you. And ta da Yep. Yep. And you're gonna have that and it's done. Yes, now we have that as a big landing page. So I can either download as PDF or download as PNG or edit. Probably decide to crop this or let's see what we did do for us. Now you can crop and you can add shapes to it. 
right if i don't want to do that then i can just download as png and i have this as a png and i can drag this into my mood board on figma okay yeah so i think this, those are the three plugins i have to show go for page colorzilla colorzilla can be very useless like you've seen right but let's see if it's going to work on a website like this okay yeah it's going to probably work let's let me try and catch this blue yeah cut it color copy to clipboard right and all i have to do now is just paste that color in figma right but it can be very useless it can also be very useful it just depends on um how the website you're trying to capture is designed all right yeah so those are the three plugins i have to talk about and oh yeah so let me just write them out Yeah, so you have CSS Pipa, uh, you have Colorzilla, it's useless at times, and you have Go Full Page. So for for fonts, right? I usually use FontsHub.pro. Inspired. Ah, uh, is it your mic? So for font hub inspired by Pond Hub, um colors.co for my colors. Oh yeah, if I go, if I go. Yeah, apparently a lot of people don't know how to use colors.co. Right? It's actually very crazy. So let's see. Uh let's see what we're trying to generate a color color palettes. Okay. Okay, trying to generate a color, right? Say I have my header color. Let me open CSS paper, right? I have this as my header color. Let's see. CSS paper. Okay, this would be my, probably my header color. Okay. Uh, let's see, where is that? Nope. No, I don't want to save. I want to paste a new one. Oh, this is not working the way I want it to work. Give me a minute. Nope, not copy. Not view shades. Nope, not view shades. Click on the hex code on the hex code. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so Ctrl V. Yeah, so if this is going to be my first color, I want to use my color palette. First thing I do is I'll lock it. Then you can press um the space button on your keyboard and it's just generate color palettes that complement this right but that's one so i need a second color for my second color i'll be using this so i'll copy this too then click on this and i'll lock it right so when i'm generating a new color palette those two are not changing right now close is doing is generating colors that it thinks um we'll work well with these two colors right so we just passed um stripe which was purple right so let me add one more color i like adding one more color right mostly the background color I like adding one more color right so if i'm working with a dark mode i'm usually just using my primary three dark colors right header body and background color right so let me just add the background color and v then lock then generate right so this is how i probably generate color palettes that will go with these three main colors I'm using for my design. Oh, I like that green just now. I like this green. Right. There are times where I, I may have to remove this. Okay, then I just generate like this. Yeah, so these are colors that will go with these two colors. Yeah, so that's how you probably want to generate your color palette when you're in here. Right. But if you don't like this, then you can just unlock them and take whatever they give to you and use that in your design. Okay, yeah, that's all. So if there are no questions, okay, any question before I run away?